Hi, my name is Jane Lewis, and I'm the Executive Director at Villa Finale. And I'm here to tell you about my favorite objects in our wonderful collection. I'm from New Mexico, so I grew up with a lot of Spanish colonial art, so that's what my favorite subject is. And we have some outstanding examples here in, in the hallway, in the upper portion of the house at Villa Finale. Here in the stairwell, and Farah, who's filming this, can, can show us, are some examples of Cusco paintings. The Cusco School of Art was started in, obviously, Cusco, Peru, around 1534, when the Spanish missionaries first came and they had the conquest of Peru. So the Spanish missionaries, of course, were trying to convert the, the natives, um, they were called Indians, Quechas, and Mestizos, uh, to Catholicism, and of course they were teaching them about the religious uh, icons that were important to their faith. And so in the process, they taught the natives how to paint in the European style, and this continued over the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th centuries. Um, and became a very popular form of Spanish colonial art. As you can see, some of it is quite eloquent, quite uh, beautiful, and also quite unique because the natives had their own particular little twist of art that they would include, uh, which I believe made them more beautiful. So these are six examples that we have in our collection of Cusco paintings from the 16th century. Another part of our collection of Spanish colonial art is located just next to the stairway where the Cusco, Cusco paintings are. And this is a collection of art that's called retablos. And the smaller paintings that are hanging here on the wall, which are beautifully hung by Walter Mathis, are uh, Spanish colonial retablos, which means behind the altar, because these were typically hung behind the altar in Spanish colonial churches. And these are also iconography that's important to the Catholic faith. And this was a popular art form that was brought to the Americas uh, by the Spanish in really around the 18th century. So it's a little bit later form of Spanish colonial art than the Cusco paintings. And then below the retablos on this grand Victorian piano here are what are called bultos and other forms of reliquary that also you would find in Spanish colonial churches. Bultos means a statue, and so they are three-dimensional, where the retablos are two-dimensional. When we have people come and tour Villa Finale, uh, of course they love the Spanish colonial art, which a lot of people from this part of the country are familiar with. And there's one in particular that we probably get more questions about than any other. And that is one that is depicted, it looks like five fingers, a hand, and on the tip of each finger is a person. And this is called La Mano Poderosa, which means the powerful hand. And the figures that are represented are the Holy Family and then Mary's parents. So this was something that you would often find in Franciscan brotherhoods and their churches. Many of these were collected, of course, by Walter Mathis uh, from Mexico. Uh, these particularly, be, they belong to the 18th century, probably around 1750. And so it's a really impressive collection of Spanish colonial art and I hope you will come and enjoy it as much as I do. Thank you.